Hi guys, uh, today I'm making Pyrrhal Orange PO73, a uh, very, very bright pigment. Um, this is from Kramer, uh, which has DPP on the label that stands for Diketo Pyrrhal Pyrrhal Pigment. Um, it is a more opaque version of uh, than regular organic pigments. Um, it leans a bit towards the scarlet side of orange, so it's it's more red uh, than you would suspect from a very bright orange. But it's the most chromatic orange I have and I know of. Um, it is even the most chromatic pigment that I know of. Uh, chroma means how much color it reflects. So it's not the brightest orange or the most highly valued orange, uh, but is it is the most chromatic uh, pigment. So this will reflect the most wavelengths of uh, its property. Uh, I'm testing the paint uh, on my Hagman gauge um, to see how far I am. Uh, it needs a little bit more work. So I'm uh, milling it again. Um, it's a lovely buttery smooth paint to make. Uh, it gets a bit sticky so I'm adding water here um, just to make it a little bit more easy to get those final particles fully dispersed into my paint. Um, like I said, it is a highly chromatic pigment, the most chromatic that uh, I know of and have. Um, obviously, I'm putting it in my brand pans with PO73 on the side. Uh, it's not as chromatic when it dries, um, but as you can see over here, I'm making a spectral reflectance curve of the pure pigment itself. And uh, the higher the curve is, um, the more chromatic, uh, the more color gets reflected. So, as you can see in a moment, it is uh, leaning a lot towards the red side of the spectrum. And just wait a minute. So you can see it over here. Uh, there's a lot of red and near-infrared wavelengths reflected by this pigment. I really hope you enjoyed this video and a little bit of information I gave with a voiceover this time. Um, I'm off to my next color. See you next time.